This is Sinjin Smith, and welcome to the Beach Volleyball Hall of Fame. Well, I was fortunate enough to grow up in uh, Santa Monica, California, so um, my parents would take the whole family, all seven of us, down to the beach, and it just so happened that there was beach volleyball going on right there. My dad started to play, my older brother started to play, and when I got old enough, then I started to play, and, and it, uh, I loved it so much that that's all I wanted to do. You know, when I was a kid, uh, I was able to watch Ron Von Hagen when he was in his prime. And then when I, when I graduated from high school, Ron asked me to play with him. So that following summer, I played in my very first Open with Ron Von Hagen, the guy who I idled when I was a little kid. So that was pretty, pretty exciting for me. So, so the first summer I started playing on the beach, I was working on the weekends. So um, I had to play on Mondays and Tuesdays. And I was lucky enough at that time uh, to be asked to play against, at that time, Ron Von Hagen and Tom Shamalis during the week because they were preparing for the big tournaments on the weekend. After that summer, Ron said, well, why don't you play on the weekends in the tournaments? And I said, well, well heck, that's what I want to do. I've got to make sure I don't work on the weekends. So, that next summer, the summer of 1977, Ron asked me to play in the first Open. Before the Open, there was one double-A tournament. So he said, go play in a tournament. You've never played in one before. He goes, find one of the guys playing here at Sereno Beach in Santa Monica. And he suggested Mike Norman. And, uh, so, and he was a UCLA guy, and I knew who he was, a little older. Um, but he was a good player. Mike and I played in the double-A. We won. The next week, I went to Santa Cruz to play with Ron. He pulled his hamstring, so he was half the player that he normally was. We ended up getting fifth, and then I went back to playing with Mike Norman, and two weekends later, I won my first Open in the first year that I, I, I was playing beach volleyball. You know, as, God, that's, hmm. I think, I think that most people will remember Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smith playing against Hovland and Dodd. Uh, we, we played against a lot of different people. I played with people, against people, and you know, all throughout my career, 25 years of playing beach volleyball. But I think what people will remember the most is Smith and Stoklos against Hovland and Dodd. And we battled for about 10 years against each other. And uh, I'm. I like to think that we got the best of them, and uh, at least the numbers will show that. But um, they were always very, very tough to, to play against. But I think during that period of time, the 80s and early 90s, that rivalry really, I think, helped the sport take off uh, when, when the sport became more than just a Southern California sport. It became a national sport and then eventually an international sport. Uh, my favorite partner, I, I had a lot of great partners, uh, you know, Karch and Randy and, and but the, the one guy that stands out and, and was very important for my career was Ron Von Hagen. And the big reason is he, he really brought me into the game of beach volleyball. I mean, not only from the, the standpoint of me being a kid watching him play and him being the biggest name in the sport, but asking me to play. Here's, here's my idol when I'm a kid asking me to play with him in the first Open I will have ever experienced. That was probably the, the biggest and most important moment in my volleyball career. That, that really catapulted me into the sport. And even though we only had an opportunity to play in one tournament because he hurt himself, it made a big difference for the way I played and, and the rest of my career. You know, I always liked the beaches where I won. <laughs> Hawaii was always fantastic. <laughs> Hawaii was always a fantastic place to play. I mean, it was so beautiful. And, we, and Randy and I had, had tremendous success there. I don't know. We may have lost one time when we went and, and played over there. But there's certain beaches that, that stand out. Manhattan Beach, always a huge crowd, always a very important tournament for everybody to do well at. And we had great success there. Um, Laguna Beach was such a fun place to play. We don't play there anymore, but what, back in the uh, 
70s and 80s when we did play, it was an incredible place to play. Great crowds, very difficult beach to jump. The sand was very deep, um, but just a, a fun place to play. I, I, you know, every beach had something different to offer. And, and even when we left Southern California and we went off the coast and played in, in different areas where they brought in the sand, as long as there was a good crowd there and good competition, it was, it was fun. It's what made it all worthwhile throughout my whole career going to all these different places. And then when we started to go internationally, I mean, going to Rio de Janeiro and playing in Copacabana or Ipanema, I mean, we played in both places with, with thousands of people watching and, and it was more like a, a rock concert. I mean, we were really treated like rock stars when we went there. So that was pretty incredible, and we had great success there, too. It's, it's like in any sport. You, you don't get better unless you play the sport. You know, I, th I think the tendency today is for the kids to think they need to get, you know, stronger, bigger muscles. But it, the reality is, Getting stronger doesn't make you a better player. You need to play the game. You need to touch the ball. So you've got to get out and play as much as you possibly can. That will make you a better player. Yes, at some point, if you get stronger, it can help you. But most important is develop your skills. You know, what was very interesting after playing for so many years and, and playing under so many different circumstances and then adding travel in and and you know you need to prepare yourself as best you can to compete you know throughout the whole tournament but there were times when i didn't feel well or i had a, an injury or something and and it seemed like those times that i almost played my best and and i can't figure that out i have no no idea why that would happen but you know you you don't just because you didn't sleep one night, you played great the next day. Doesn't mean that you should not sleep every night before you play because it ain't gonna be the same. You know, you, you really have to prepare yourself properly, you know, eat right and sleep and do all the right things to, to give yourself the best opportunity to play your best.